Good morning! We are here to present the National Scientists, an introduction to the class. For today's topic, we will discuss about who is Edgardo Gomez, what did he study, what are his research interests, and the awards and recognition he received. The Philippines has contributed a lot of science and conservation efforts focusing on coral reefs, and that is something we should be proud of, stated by Dr. Edgardo Gomez. Who is Dr. Edgardo D. Gomez? He is a Philippine national scientist in the field of marine science and biology. He was born on November 7, 1938 in Manila, Philippines and died on December 1, 2019 at the age of 81 years old. So now let us move on to Dr. Edgardo D. Gomez's educational background. He graduated from the La Salle University with a bachelor's degree in education, majoring in English and social science, summa cum laude. He also finished his master's degree in biology as a Fulbright travel grantee from St. Mary's University of Minnesota. And lastly, he finished his doctorate degree in marine biology from the University of California, San Diego. Now let us find out about his research interest. As we can see, it is very inclined with marine biology. It contains the coral reef ecology and restoration, the conservation of marine resources, and the reproduction of marine invertebrates and culture of giant clams. Din ang layunin ni Dr. Edgardo Gomez, isang national scientist na nakapag-aral sa iba't ibang bahagi ng mundo, pero naging pioneer sa pag-aaral ng coral reefs dito sa Pilipinas. Hello Dr. Gomez, welcome to Amazing Earth. Thank you. Kayo po ang namuno sa kauna-una ang assessment ng status ng ating coral reefs sa Pilipinas. Um, ano po ba ang kaibahan ng sitwasyon ngayon ng ating coral reefs magmula noong 2014 at ngayong 2019? Original survey namin nagsimula 1974. 1974 yung kauna. Uh, so, yung po yung national survey. National survey. Uh, na Laman namin na marami sa mga bahura na natin ay nasira na, na kakalungkot. Ang karamihan ay nasira uh, dahil sa uh, illegal uh, bombing or uh, fishing practices. At yung pagkolekta uh, uh, o pag-ani ng ibang mga corals para ibenta nila sa ibang bansa. Totoo po ba na po pwede niyong i-repair ang, uh, ang ating corals? Uh, pwede. Medyo mahal at kumisan matagal. Uh, yan ang isang ginawa namin sa Marine Science Institute kung paano magtanim ng uh, mga bahagi ng mga sanga ng mga corals sa bato o sa buhangin para sila tutubo at dadami. As a matter of fact, uh, last December there was a conference in Florida. Itong recognition na ito, is international. So, nakita nila na madami tayong nasimulahan dito sa Pilipinas tungkol sa coral reef restoration. Ano po ba ang benepisyo talaga ng mga coral reefs sa, sa siyempre, sa mga isda na sa ilalim ng dagat, pati na rin sa ating mga tao? Yung lahat ng magagandang masasarap na isda na binibinlay natin sa palengke, malimit galing sa coral reefs yun. Dahil yun ang, ang bahayan nila. Doon sila dumadami, doon sila tumutubo, lumalaki. Ano sa tingin nyo o ano, ano sa inyong kaalaman ng estado ngayon compared to when you first surveyed it? Ang maganda ngayon, mas madaming uh, mga mamamayan na conscious na sila sa halaga ng mga coral reefs. Actually, as my parting, if you will, uh, advice, keep the coral reef healthy. Uh, para hindi mo na kailangan gamutin o ayusin. Dahil kung yung pahura ay malusog, mas madami tayong maani na mga yaman dagat. What a very meaningful and a very inspiring interview with Dr. Edgardo D. Gomez. He lived a very purpose-driven life by contributing his achievements as a researcher, scientist, conservation advocate, 
and mentor in invertebrate biology and ecology, giant clam culture and restoration. And take note that he was also the one who initiated the world's first national scale assessment of coral reef damage, which led to international conservation initiatives such as coral replanting, which traced widespread concern about the status of the coral reefs. The coral reefs, as we all know, provide an important ecosystem for underwater life, protect coastal areas by reducing the power of waves hitting the coast, and provide a vital source of income for millions of people. The Awards and Recognition of Dr. Edgardo D. Gomez National Scientist of the Philippines for Marine Biology in 2014, Pew Marine Conservation Fellow in 2001, Presidential Lingkod Bayan Awardee in 2000, Academician by the National Academy of Science and Technology, NAST, in 1993, the Outstanding Filipino, TOEFL Award for Science Marine Biology in 1992, and the Laureate in the United Nations Environmental Programs, or UNEP, Global 500 Role of Honor in 1989.